to my YouTube channel. Today I am unboxing some dolls from Louisa's Knit Knacks and she asked me if she could send me some dolls um, and I said sure why not. There are, I know inside there's an Amidala doll because she knew that I like Star Wars stuff so I know that but I don't know what all is in here. Um, this cat. <laughs> I don't know what all's in here, but we're going to pull it all out and find out. And I'll, of course, link all her information below so you guys can check her out. This is not the kind of doll that I typically collect, but I thought it would be cool to, to have a look at them and see. So let's see. Here's a note. Um, well, this is a long note. Let's see. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to review my work. I hope you like everything included. A little bit about me, Louisa's Knit Knacks. I've always loved making things. When I was nine, my grandmother taught me how to knit and I was immediately addicted. I picked up crochet a few years later. I started designing my own patterns when I was in high school and the rest is history. I make everything and anything. It's hard to give a complete list, but I love doing customized dolls. Um, let's see, we messaged briefly about what you wanted me to send, but I really enjoyed the artistic freedom I had on this project. Cause you guys know I always like to do artist choice of anything. I got to try out resin pouring for the first time. Ooh. Uh, you'll get to see that when you get there. I've also included an outfit for Welly Wishers. Oh, cool. I remember you saying in one of your videos that you weren't crazy about Welly Wisher clothes. I feel the same way, so I made you something to look like it belongs to a doll. I know we both love. Cool. Hope you like everything the best, Louisa. So, that's really cool. And then here is her information. And I'll, of course, link it below. But there's her business card, so you guys can see that. And let's get into it and see. I'm fascinated by this resin pouring. So let's see, this, the parade, this is Amidala in the parade dress. Oh my, how interesting this is going to be. So let's check this out. Hey, hey, this is Waylon is the most violent of all my cats. So maybe he'll get interested in something else soon. Go ahead, buddy. All right, so let's get this open. Oh, cool. So this is, oh, this might be for a Welly Wisher. Is this for a Welly Wisher? So there's the Amidala hairstyle. How cute. That's a precious. Oh, this is magnetic. So there's magnets all around. Maybe this goes actually to one of the dolls that she made. And then there's the dress and there's snaps on it. So there's like this um, fur train with it. Oh, look at that. There's the there's this. How cool. So let's, I'm going to put this here and I'm going to keep the, this for reference and let's see what else we've got. This is a cute, let me pull all this stuff out so I can move the box because the box is taking up a lot of real estate here. So let's see. There's, I'll start here. See, I didn't even see that. Let's see. Um, let's pull this. I'm going to have to stand up. Oh, these two were together. Put those back together. Um, let's see. There's a lot of stuff in here. Wow. Okay. All right. So that's it. So the box is empty. We got a lot. Wow, it's a lot of goodies here. So let's. Let's get into it. So we've got, okay, there was a message on one of them that said start here. Here it is. So let's start here. Very pretty ribbons used to tie this up. And we'll save those for later. Let's see. Okay, so this is, I'm guessing this is the Amidala doll herself. And guys, I don't know if this is considered crochet or knit. I'm guessing it's crochet. You guys who know more about this kind of stuff can let me know in the comments below. But I think it might be crochet. So where did that outfit go? So yeah, I think we have, like we can put this. Oh yeah, so it's magnetic. That's very cool. So it's magnetic and she's got, ah, look at that. That's really cool. Very Amidala, like. And then her white um, dress, let's see, it snaps up the front because that thing hides it, I think, hides the snaps. So put this on like so, 
And then, very cute. Very cute indeed. And Star Wars, there's a bunch of new stuff coming out. Like, um, the, oh gosh, what's his name? The Cassian movie is coming out. And Andor, is that what it's called? I'm having a complete mind. I'm forgetting right now what, let's see. So this, I think, goes like this. Let's see. And there we go. Look at that. So that's really cute. So there's that. All right, so let's see what else. There's a bunch of packages here. That's really cute how she, that's really clever. There's magnets in there to keep that. So let's see, return to Naboo gown. Note the gown snaps in the front. So we've got a whole wardrobe here for Padme or Amidala. The return to Naboo gown. So let's see. And it's purple, oh, I love this. So this snaps up the front. And then, oh look, we have the hairstyle as well. How cool, oh, I love that. I'm not gonna do a whole dress change here, but I wanna show you guys, um, the gown snaps in the front. I wanna show you this, the, how the hairstyle works, cause it's, these, it's magnets, so there's magnets all around the head. That's really cool, cause that, that's how you could do like a wig swap, quote unquote, for a doll like this. And then you've got all this, very, very cool. I think that's very neat how that's done. And you can see like under the, the mesh, there's the hair. Very cute. I love that. Very neat. So let's see what else. This is, let's see. Um, the parasol. So this is a parasol. Amadal often had a parasol. So let's get that opened. If I can open it, it's sturdy but can be easily damaged. So I have to be careful with this one. And it's got three snaps. I wonder if this snaps into the back of this that I just, the pink thing, because it's got some extra snaps on it. That would make sense that it goes there for the parade outfit. And then let's see, we've got the Coruscant gown here. Oh, this is too cool that we have all these different, like the whole, um, the whole wardrobe. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, wow. This is like a, oh, cool. Oh, wow. This is like a um, really plush yarn here. So it's got, look at that. So we've got purple with a red underskirt and then a really intricate, hat top here. I love the way she's done that. Like that's really clever. Really, really clever the way that she's got the, the changing hairstyles for Amidala. I dropped the skirt. Let's see. Bring it back up. Um, let's see. This one is see design notes, instructions inside the red invasion dress. Very cool. So let's see this one. Don't, the notes may be somewhere else, um, but there's the, the hair, the hair piece, and then we've got this part here. Very neat. Red and gold. <clears throat> wow, just looking at the, the different, like how the hair piece looks, that's really cool. The way like she thought to do that in this sort of, um, textile way. Let's see what this is. Oh, this must be the notes. Okay. Design notes and instructions. This is the first outfit I made and it's hands down my favorite. I've made other things in the past that needed gems, um, but I never found a way to attach them that worked as well as I wanted. My first idea was to mold clay around a brass fastener and then paint it. While this approach fa fastened the dress well, no matter what paint or glossy finish I used, it did not look the way I wanted. While creating characters, I like to watch 
the source material. I watched the Star Wars. I watched nine Star Wars movies while making this, and also watched an interview with Trisha Bigger, who was the lead costume designer for the Phantom Menace, Clone Wars, and Revenge of the Sith. She said that the gems on Queen Amidala's dress were able to continued on next page. I have to open it to see the next page. We're able to light up. I went back to the movie and carefully combed through all of Queen Amidala's scenes, trying to see the light up gems. I only caught one brief glimpse of it in the movie, but I found some deleted scenes on YouTube where it's easier to spot. Uh, oh, there's an on-off switch. So this, I thought this would be a great opportunity to combine my almost complete electrical engineering degree with fiber arts. There's a small on and off switch at the top of the battery pack. Oh my goodness. Okay, and here's an extra battery. This is going to be fascinating. All right, we got to see how this works. I am going to dress her in this so you guys can see it because this is too, this is wild. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to, this is nuts. All right, let me turn it on. Look, look. Wow. That is wild. That is so cool, Louisa. All right, let's put her. Let's put her in this. We gotta, we gotta get her in this dress. Okay, let's see. Hair piece off. This is off. This is way, way cool. Like wow. And we got an extra battery. I'm just gonna set her on my desk at work, which is here at home. But you know, <laughs> it's my work desk that I work and let her be lit up throughout the day. So let's put this on. And then this part goes around her neck, I think. Yeah, so like this, maybe, there we go. Wow, that is too cool. That is so wild, look at that. Let me get her hair on straight, her hat on straight. Wow, 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 wow. That is really, really freaking cool, man. That's so cool. Wow. That's so cool, y'all. I've never seen anything like that. That is wild. And it just like goes around the, the there's a little battery packet and circuit board in the back. That is so cool. Yeah, I'm gonna leave her in this outfit. This is this is way cool, way, way cool. All right, let's see what else we got while we just kind of admire that in the background because that is too cool. All right, let's see. Um, oh, look at this sweet lady, all in purple with her precious little hairdo. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I love the beads in her hair and a sparkly purple dress and then um, sparkly shoes. She's adorable. She's absolutely adorable. And I've seen pictures of her dolls before, but they're a little bit bigger in person than I thought they would be. So that's really cool. Very, very cute. Adorable. Wow. Very cool. Love the colors. Look at the finish on the back. There's like a finishing metal button. Like the dolls are fully undressable and redressable. Look, she's even got those of you that care about undies. She's got undies stitched in. So I know some of y'all are don't like me with my dolls without undies. So I like to point that out when I see it. Let's see what else we got here. Um, oh, this is, this must be the Welly Wisher outfit. Very cute, it's a little house on the prairie style. Very American girl. Actually, I'm about to go to Oklahoma City for, um, for Modern Doll. This will be cute to dress one of my dolls in to take with me perhaps. Very cute, I love that. Let's see what else we got here. I really am digging this light up Amidala dress. It's very cool. Oh, she's got a little sister. Look at that. Oh, that's so cute. I love the beads in their hair. This is so sweet and the colors that she chose. Oh, that's precious. Very sweet, very sweet. And same thing with the, the yarn. Or, I mean, the, the yarn is sparkly, which I really love but I love this finishing touch. Oh, the bows, look at the, even the got knitted bows in her pigtails. How cute is that? Oh my goodness. Absolutely precious. 
so precious. Oh, all right, and I think we got one more thing to look at, which is this. So let's give it a give it a go. It feels soft and plush. It's a boba tea. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, look how sweet. I love boba tea. It's funny because my friend Lindsay is going with me to Oklahoma City and she said, we got to find a boba place like as soon as we get there. I was like, yeah, we will for sure. Don't worry. Well, Louisa, thank you very much. This stuff is so cool. Like these are precious. I love these two girls so much. And this girl right here. Wow. That's all I can say. This is an incredible, incredible piece of art here. And I love her, her, um, her light up skirt and it's just too sweet it looks like one of the lights is stuck right there but oh there it goes it's going around now how cute is that oh my gosh i love this so anyway guys i'll link all her information below so you guys can check her out again louisa thank you so much for sending me this stuff i love it all it's really adorable and we will see you guys in the next video bye bye I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons from Patreon. Lindsay S, Leah W, Doreen Z, Janice H, Mercedes W, Cindy K, Fair Sunflower, Diane B, Kelly L, Cindy L, Krista R, Victory Ron, Shorna R, Shira Star Hobby, Stephanie W, Jessica S, Ray M, Asia C, Shalane C, and Penny P. Your support means so much to me and helps me continue bringing you great Dolly content. For more information on how you can become a supporter of this channel, please see the link in the video description. Thanks for watching!